Droid Builders. Well, this is the next installment of videos that I'm um, putting on the internet for my dome mechanism. I've been waiting for a paint and epoxy to dry, so I thought what I'd do while I'm waiting is to work on the electronics for the dome mechanism. So uh, in the original creation that Matt put together, he's got an Arduino and some motor drivers. Um, what I wanted to do is try and get away from the Arduino and use um, the Maestro motor controller. So um, I've designed a board, uh, I 3D printed it, and it looks like that. So as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of mount mounting spots here for different circuits, uh, and there's some on the back as well. And this board just pops right into uh, this area here, so it will work really well with um, what you've already got in as the, as the basis for the dome mechanism. So um, obviously it'll be glued in. Um, what I've done is I have already, this is just my draft, I've already made one of these with all of my circuits on it, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here it is here. So you can see that it's got um, a bunch of circuits on there, and it's also got some on the back. So this is mimicking what a lot of people are doing in their droids by making a board with slots where you can put wires through, keep it nice and clean. And uh, I just thought I'd try it on a mini version right here. So this would pop right into this section right there. And the very last thing I'd install here is the voltage regulator. It's going to get screwed right on in that spot there. Okay. So I'll just kind of go through um, what all of these different things are going to do. And hopefully um, it'll work when I'm done. So we'll have power coming in 12 volts. It'll output 5 volts and it will go to um, this little hub here and that's just a power distribution hub so the top rail is going to be positive the bottom one's going to be negative and anything that i need powered up five volts uh, is going to just wire into this so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to take things off if i have to and then um, wire things up then i've got my two motor drivers here these are going to control four motors you know one here 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 and here uh, and then above that i've got two poly maestro um, servo drivers or servo controllers. So this one is a uh, mini controls 18 outputs. This one is a micro it controls six outputs. And I calculated I needed I need 24 outputs in all to drive everything that I want to. And I could have put a 24 output um, Maestro up here, but I didn't have one. They're fairly expensive uh, here in Canada, anyways. Um, and I already had these two, so I'm gonna. I'm going to try it with these two here. Uh, I would like to daisy chain one to the other. I, I couldn't find very much documentation, even at the Pololu site, on how to do that. So if anybody watching this knows how to um, daisy chain a mini to a micro and then set up your sequences, I'd really appreciate that information. Uh, on the back, uh, there is the last um, motor driver. And it, I'm going to use actually both sides of it because one side I'm going to use for my um, smoke machine for my bad motivator and I might even mount the smoke device right up here with running with a little uh, tube to the bad motivator. And then I've got three relays. I noticed that um, my periscope lighting would not activate with the Pololu controllers because it's drawing too much current. So the Pololu controller will activate this relay which will in turn activate my periscope lights. And if I don't need these other two, then I'll just take them off later. And down below, I have an Adafruit sound effects board. I plan on having each one of my devices have a sound effect with it. So when the lightsaber comes up, there'll be a sound effect, same with the periscope and so on and so on. And that sound will go to a speaker that's separate from my main droid. And it'll be kind of in the center of the dome mechanism facing up and it'll kind of resonate around the dome, I think. So I'm going to I'm going to try that and see if that works or not. So anyways, uh, that's what it looks like so far. Uh, I will post another video once I have some of this up and running. Um, and my next step now is to throw all my electronics into my periscope and test that out. So I uh, hope you like that. And again, thanks for watching.